Good afternoon. It is Gülsün Kurubacak, Professor Dr. Gülsün Kurubacak from Anadolu University, Culture of Open Education. It is my honor to be with you uh, to present this session. Uh, I would like to talk about immersive, smart, open and distance learning today. Hope you enjoy it. As you know, education and learning are typically very slow to adopt new technologies, especially an immersive world has not the bucket uh, this trend, but uh, it has bridged the gap between learning and learners, lifelong learners, you know, in ways that no longer uh, any platform has done before. This is weird actually also, but with the advancement in new technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, so on, you name it, uh, we have to ask, do learning support services uh, in distance education, in open and distance education, uh, run the risk being completely replaced by immersive technologies? Today, we're going to discuss this topic deeply. Okay. We have to look at first version of open and distance education learning. Uh, this chart uh, was developed by me, Dr. Sharma and Dr. Serap Ur Shishman. We uh, focus on seven different stages of open and distance learning and each stage has own characteristics and its own, you know, features foundations and philosophy. If you look at closely, you can see uh, open and distance learning uh, established uh, with very a simple idea. It was a method. It was a local um, um, education system and it's uh, also an alternative to, to the uh, formal system. The students who cannot, could not go to the school, somehow they need education. So this is the, what kind, that kind of education, learning environment before. And it was one way communication environment. And also it focused on just printed materials and also vocational education. But in the years, uh, because of the development of the technologies, Distance, open and distance learning also developed. Uh, technology itself not enough uh, to design any open and distance education uh, environment area, but it is necessary. Also, technology means you pass the culture, you pass the, uh, the, the uh, institution, uh, person, you name it the culture, the others. So it is not just technique, it is also human based issues. So if you look at the, that kind of uh, developments, the first, uh, the second array is the educational television and uh, TV, then computer based teaching, then internet based uh, learning, and now smart open and distance learning. And the topic we are going to discuss today, and you can see the in yellow, immersive smart open and distance edge learning area, and then metaverse. Meta immersive smart open and distance learning area is coming. It is very close, maybe uh, before 20 to 2025, uh, we will reach this uh, episode. But today we have to first of all look at the uh, Immersive Smart and uh, Distance Learning Area, uh, ISDL 6.0, we called it. And if you look at the, 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 that version, uh, Open and Distance Learning become multidimensional communications. It has augmented virtual experimental extended reality, transhumanism, transhumans are coming. We are becoming a robot, robots becoming a human. So what is the ethic and the... Uh, other stuff, you know, blockchains, uh, simulated conscious, clone conscious, it is weird and also metaverse focus on those issues um, deeply. Uh, the other stuff you see, and this is now global, neither global nor local, it is global uh, learning environment design and sustainable 
human transformation is necessary and here is immersive learning and before switch it this issue we have to talk about uh, uh, shortly shortly immersive and immersive technologies uh, i believe that most of you the majority of you watched several uh, tv series or a uh, whole bit movies talking about the future or read books like fahrenheit 451 uh, Idiocracy, you know, uh, uh, any kind of, I couldn't remember that, maybe I get kind of excited, but uh, my majority of that kind of movies or books are uh, dystopian. It means they think technology may, will make human life miserable, but as a person, as a human being, as a woman, as a scientist, I believe that technology is the mean and uh, it will develop our life styles. It brings quality. But first of all, we have to understand what is it. So we start to talk about immersive and immersive technologies. The word immersive, you know, uh, describes the different types. But in here, uh, in brief, we can say uh, we experience some things completely surround us, you know, when you're watching movie, when you're watching television uh, series or the, the, the weather situation, you can feel it as if you are in it and you can sometimes touch the stuff like the rain, like the uh, uh, flood and it is a kind of real life experiences and also the this word refers to any technology digitally extend or replace uh, reality for us and it is a kind of scary but think about the older people elder people think about the disadvantages groups like the people uh, must uh, stay in hospital like covid 19 area you know the people in uh, prisons or the people has no education opportunities to reach or just you would like to extend your experiences about this world and this universe here is immersive is for you and immersive technologies most of us know that and we have a you know different projects about this and immersive technology is kind of a collection of virtual reality augmented reality uh, mixed reality, extended reality, haptic technologies. Haptic mean you can touch and feel, you know, you can touch a cup of coffee and I wish I can drink right now and feel the smell and also the uh, whole degree, you know, environment. Most of the time I would like to, especially the Corona time, go to the virtual to visit the museums like the Louvre. It is one of my lifetime favorite, Louvre, you know, the Versailles. Go and see the stuff, uh, touch the art. It is, you know, um, uh, undefined uh, kind of experience. Actually, you say it is not the real. It is not the, you know, the, the as good as the real. Yes, you are right, but those technologies are getting, you know, developed and also people has no opportunity because of their economic health education or other situation so here is learning is coming to them they don't need to spend time money go to there so it is a kind of you know uh, open accessible multicultural and global uh, stories for uh, now or enter the next generations and uh, before the start, we have to ask ourselves. It is the uh, not simple question to answer. Uh, how our institutions, I mean the universities, elementary schools, high schools, societies, your family, your neighborhood, and yourselves, ourselves, will adapt that kind of smart changes those immersive technologies make our uh, life smart smart means you know 
without real one we can experience the virtual one it is a kind of you know against scary but it is uh, also a big uh, opportunity for everyone it is the democratic and uh, equal uh, educational and learning environment design so we have to careful about that so we have to answer are we ready to those kind of you know the changes what uh, what are the risks you know can be defined if we can define the risks you know uh, we define unknown stuff also so we can find the solution uh, in advance it uh, the, the, the problem it will happen be happen so it is important uh, you must know but I would like to go on it and now immersive versus experiential uh, if you choose the real life ones okay but you need money uh, I talked to you I like to be go to the lure okay if you would like to uh, get your students and make a real life situation real life visit to lure think about the economics uh, financial issues parental issues you know the, the, the covid issues you name it but if you look at the immersive learning uh, it it gives us nearly 100 percentage thinking capacity you know uh, we use all of our you know uh, emotions uh, all our uh, thinking skills to understand that and involve that kind of environment because it is a dynamic uh, environment it needs dynamic mechanics environment and design and it uh, we design immersive learning based on the gamification it is the important it makes the learning more happy place actually learning is a kind of cruel and you know stressful place so immersive learning uh, can be our hero to design for especially elder lifelong learners this disadvantaged group like you know the the, the uh, i told before and also the others you know refugees uh, the people you know has a uh, difficult to do learning and so immersive learning is the future of learning lifelong learning we have to think about that um, shortly immersive learning uh, needs requires high level technologies um, students or learners we told we, we said we would like to say uh, lifelong learners must develop their critical thinking skills uh, especially open and distance learning areas requires uh, learners uh, himself or herself uh, you know control nobody control them most of you has a, have a problem when you are online in zoom uh, your student just turn on the camera and go and you have no power this is the that kind of environment this is equal uh, it is not face-to-face -face classroom actually in the face-to-face -face classroom even the students look at to you it doesn't mean she or he is listening to you but in this environment she or he can give immediate you know uh, feedback to you whether uh, he or she enjoy or not what you are talking about uh, but the problem is without developing their critical thinking skills look at our uh, Turkish uh, education system most of the time we uh, force them memorize or hate education but uh, the cope with the real life situation like pandemic area we are living in you have to solve the problem you have to analyze synthesize evaluate the information to not lose lost yourself so it is important and this is the hat couture design based learning it means nobody will take four year uh, engineering class to become a you know computer engineer and, uh, nobody needs to take same courses to become a doctor so hat couture mean uh, you as a system 
sit down with your lifelong learner and design a system for her or for him. You know, he would like to become a uh, psych uh, psychologist. Okay, maybe in two years he can be, or in ten years. Which what kind of courses he would like to be? Teenager psychiatrist or psychologist you have to think about that hot couture design is the main issue in immersive learning environment and don't forget no time and no walls seven twenty four hours the people the person the lifelong learners he or she would like to be learn be a learner would like to learn we would like to in the uh, system they can so you have to provide them that kind of environment so that it means open and distance learning is not a just method it is not just a zoom it is a system you have to design a system and this is 3d dimensions or more dimensions the learning so you have to focus on how can you design that kind of multi-dimensional environments uh, based on hot culture idea to improve your uh, lifelong learners critical thinking skills with high level technologies providing 724 hours learning environments it is easy to say but, but hard to do okay and Let's switch immersive smart open and distance learning, ISDL, and uh, we are calling it Uber learning. You know the term Uber, you know. Uh, Uber uh, show us you don't need to uh, uh, stores to sell some stuff. Today we are buying several, you know, stuffs uh, via online. Uh, the, I am the one of them. I don't like to go shopping. It is weird. Yes, I am woman, but I don't like to go shopping. It is a kind of stressing and time-consuming job for me. But on the internet, it is so easy for me to get anything what I want to do from anywhere all over the world. So, or the Uber taxi, you know, Uber taxi or anything. Uh, today, uh, like uh, blockchain, it is a kind of Uber banking system. If you look at the crypto system, so Uber learning is important. And as you understand, uh, in the future, like Pink Floyd uh, song, we don't need no education, we don't need no uh, walls. There will be no schools, no school walls. So learning will change dramatically. You have to get ready for it so it means we have to decentralize the education this is the uh, kind of uh, dramatic change and revolutionize learning style so are we ready for that and not technologically but also psychologically also sociologically are you ready as a person as a parent as a human being as a scientist be honest to yourself. Okay, Uber learning. If we are talking Uber learning, we must understand what immersive technologies are. We have to learn about that. It is not the time. Okay, I don't care. I can do face to face. I can use chalk and you know the the blackboard or whiteboard, whatever. It is not time. You have to learn understand and develop also that kind of technologies and also you have to realize how they are i mean the, those immersive technologies currently being used and what their potential are they are still need to be developed so you have to careful about science as you are scientists you have to develop project about that and also you have to describe and also store variety of scanners uh, scanner if i can tell you you can understand you can see okay i cannot say <laughs> ah, for the utilized immersive technologies the the, the storage and uh, data mining data engineering data uh, culture data awareness are becoming uh, more important than before 
So those uh, is the hot uh, stuff uh, of our lifelong learning. You have to develop your scenarios. Yes, I now can tell. Okay, you and also you have to identify the benefits uh, from using immersive technologies to support lifelong learners. Okay, I gonna use it. At the beginning, I have to spend a kind of bunch of money. It is the kind of expensive system. But if you look at the how many people will use, utilize those systems in how many times and how many years, it's becoming, you know, the inexpensive. So, how can I utilize? How can I uh, develop? What kind of courses? Which courses? With uh, which people? For uh, for whom? That kind of questions you must uh, answer. So, adaption in this uh, system is very important like the other system adaptions the first uh, stage must be background search you have to do this this is the, the most important stage uh, to me dreaming you have to dream what do you need and why you have to answer it planning what do you reach uh, your goals exploring what are the relevant trends and developments for the future you have to be very open-minded you know you cannot say i don't care you must care if you are a learner if you are a, a professor or if you are a teacher if you are a human being in this century you have to care and then uh, the uh, switch the uh, second uh, stage otherwise uh, before uh, you know Focus on these three elements. At the first stage, you cannot be successful. Uh, and as you see, everything begins with, you know, begin with dreaming. And design. To design, uh, preparing. What are the needs and main purpose of Uber learning? You have to answer, you know, what kind of framework you need. And what are the most important elements, the dimension and necessities of this uh, Uber learning? And orientation is very important. What is the important question to be answered after all? So then switch the third stage. It is using and monitoring, you know, uh, how to withdraw conclusions from Uber learning. Okay, we, we, we uh, apply it and we get some results. And so how can I understand what is the conclusion and how do we observe the uber learning is going to be happen you know you have to monitor you know you have to always collect data then evaluation the the very important stage we must do summative assessment formative assessment and then taking actions you know uh, we have to discuss uh, smart unit units, you know, comparisons against uh, some standard or benchmark. We don't know. We have to discuss it and define it. And also, what are the, you know, the ongoing process educators engage in focusing on lifelong learning goals in this, that kind of uber learning environments? And how will we move closer to goals? Can we? Or what are the problems? We have to answer all. And uh, my last words, yes, immersive, smart, open distance learning is here. Uber learning from immersive the metaverse, it is coming. So we have to get ready of it. Uh, it means this is digital transformation. You have to check the dot micro and micro level. It means institutional and personal level, learning level. What is your learning credit system? How can you adapt the new one? Do you have any risk intelligence skills? How will you develop personally and as an institution? How can you cope with the new risks uh, happen like COVID-19? Nobody guessed that kind of situation before, even though we open and distance designers shame on us <laughs> and also you will the uh, digital leader so how will it how you you know to be a leader to provide the other institutions the 
background like Anadolu University open uh, its door to other universities during the corona so what will you do cyber security big issue how you protect your uh, life learner long learners and also your system with the new technologies and quantum technologies it's changing everything it is getting speed and you know deep learning so are you ready do you have that kind of technology and stuff to run quantum technologies also augmented immersive literacy are you are uh, your institution or your lifelong learners uh, that can have that kind of literacy it means that kind of augmented uh, culture augmented awareness you know they have to you have to also artificial intelligence is the most important all of these immersive technologies and you must develop human resources based on those issues are your human resources department uh, getting ready for that kind of uh, transformation and also anytime always we have limited resources okay how can i use these resources for equally and democratically and the most of important ones ethics and law whose law whose ethics will involve that kind of in, uh, environments otherwise hate speech you know the other stuff will transfer this immersive learning environment that we don't want to do and if you would like to do get uh, you know reference those are the, our references and here is my communication uh, addresses anytime you are always welcome to communicate with me just text me uh, and I am happy to answer your all questions